Now Pfizer is asking the FDA for emergency use authorization for the COVID-19 vaccine for children as young as six months. Our region's largest public health system said it will be prepared to open up vaccinations to the youngest age group yet. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco is live at Hamilton County Public Health. And Courtney, what can you tell us about the timeline here? Well, these clinics could begin vaccinating this final remaining segment uh, by the end of this month. And the medical director here says we have enough pediatric team members to serve this age group and enough clinic space. We just need the correct doses and approval from the state. Today is a sick day for Ruby. <laughs> I believe it, and I'm, I'm sorry. This week, it's the flu. But before confirming, the three-year-old underwent her fourth COVID-19 test since the pandemic began. One reason mom is ready for vaccine eligibility to expand. I want her to be have some protection. I also want... For my family members that are vulnerable, I want to feel more confident around them. Hamilton County Medical Director and Chief Clinical Officer of Mercy Health, Dr. Stephen Fagans, is watching reports that Pfizer could ask federal regulators to approve its vaccine for those four years to six months old as soon as Tuesday. I know Pfizer's, they, they tested a dose that didn't seem to provide the antibody levels that, um, that they'd hoped for. Um, I know that the FDA is really push them to either come forth with a, a three dose regimen uh, or a dose that uh, would, would have um, good antibody levels. He predicts expanding eligibility to this age group this is my favorite. will reduce hospitalizations at Cincinnati Children's, but says more people overall must become immunized to reach endemic status. We need more people vaccinated overall. And so every every kiddo vaccinated is one more. For those with young children, returning to some type of normalcy has been slow as variants cause surges. So Ruby's mom plans to talk to her pediatrician about next steps. And I spoke to a father who's been on both sides of the fence while experiencing the virus with a vaccinated and unvaccinated child. And you'll hear from him coming up at six. Reporting live in Cincinnati, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.